Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to our week 3 of of course the LBA and this week we're going up against Quebec City Betics and I really really having a hard time saying that name <laughs> so I know I'm probably saying it wrong don't worry though um, we're gonna everything else should be working just fine you're gonna see his team on the right side here which of course be Mu, Conkleder, Raiko, Gliska, Superior, Bishop Fretres, Gudra, Confergus, and Mega Jardos. And I screwed up the Mega Jardos name. Never mind. <clears throat> and you guys see the team that I've been chosen for this week, and uh, I'm feeling quite confident. Uh, going over the issues that I see with his team here, or rather the issues that I could be facing, he's gonna get up rocks. That's something, you know, with Fretres and Glisco. One of those two is gonna be a part of his team here, and he's gonna get it. Like, I have no way of uh, avoiding them properly. If you're using Glisco uh, as his self rocker, he's gonna have Yasha Barry. That's definitely a given. He's either that or a very, very defensive set. Um, I can't act upon it properly, and I am very aware of that, to be honest. And the other one, of course, being a Fretress with Sturdy, which means the self rock, like I said, are going to stay up. And here, of course, is probably the biggest issue for me is that I have a no mount that naturally outspeed his team. So Raiko and to some extent Superior are gonna be the fastest mount on the fields. And that means that we have to rely on Charizard X to uh, break through here. And for Charizard to break through, we need Tentacruel or Sand Slash to make sure that the rocks go away late game. He shouldn't have a real way of dealing with my Charizard X. Um, he just have a few mounts that can outspeed. But uh, Mega Jardos is probably his only real response to it, and that mod is actually to it KO'd by Charizard X. So if I can, I should try to force him to Mega Evolve early game to make sure that I don't get an invitation on me. So basically we're gonna go over the team. Charizard X, Adamant. Fast enough to outspeed, I believe, Gudra. And the rest is on the bulk. I do believe defensive bulk, to be honest, to be able to deal with Jardos. A bit better uh, if I'm forced to face it one on one because I really want to avoid being a um, being killed by a plus one waterfall if the situation calls for it. Um, basically, standard stuff. Flare Blitz does a good chunk of damage to his whole team. Um, Thunder is the next one. Uh, actually, pretty 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 standard. Hidden Power Ice, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is there for Mega Gyarados. He's probably the only mod who can deal with us properly. Raikou does actually wall my funders really well in something I don't really want to use against it, but outside of that, it should do well. And of course, funders are here to somewhat for the superior if it is a scarf set or in just in any way are an issue for my team. Um, next one is a defensive Tyranitar. I've been using this quite a lot lately, and it's fully HP, fully defense. Uh, are able to take a waterfall from uh, regular gyros and mega gyros from actually, I do believe, from 84% of health, I should be able to take a mega gyros waterfall. And the main idea is here to have to T wave it. I have, don't have stealth rock this game because I don't see the point of having it this game, to be honest. Uh, and I have Ice Beam for Gliscor, which I know could be a potential response. I deal well with Fortress, but Gliscor is a mod that I'm going to have a hard time with. And um, Tyranitar is actually a good response to it because it can't really hurt it that much with Shuka Berry, which is the item of choice I will be bringing. And uh, coming up next is Tangrove, Assault Vista Tangrove. And um, it's the general response to both Raikou and Superior. Now, Superior can do a lot of damage with a plus two hidden power fire, but Slush Bomb is an area of a two hit KO, and I have a lot of special defense investment basically to be able to deal with the mods that matters. And we have knockoff here in case his Conkeldor is a assault vest set, because that means a leaf storm could do it kill after reduction. Um, but like I said, I have to have the series of play of a knockoff to pull that off. Other than that, Tangrove is really, really standard. I have to watch out for Goo Drive and has Sass Zipper, because that's something I could set in motion, which I'm not particularly fond of, and I can't respond properly to it either. Uh, next one is Tentacruel here, and Tentacruel has enough speed investment to beat Gudra 101. Other than that, fully defensive, shuts down Bishop to some extent, and um, I have enough HP, of course, I have fully HP 
which means he has no mon outside of Mew that can one hit KO me, which is great. Um, it somewhat deals with Gyarados, not properly, but he can take a waterfall if it's forced to. And basically, Tentacruel's main role here is to make sure that once the Stealth Rocks comes up, that it can get him away. And for me to pull that off is, of course, get rid of the Confagrius. Once that is gone, I can Rapid Spin, and that should be GG from that position, no matter how Matt decides to play the game. So last one is Keldeo, and with the same idea in mind here, it's fast enough to beat Gudra 101. Other than that, it's actually specially defensive, so it really, really should be working semi well. No, actually, sorry, it's defensive. It's able to deal with Bishop really well and Gliscor to some extent, and it can go 101 against Comparigus, uh, or sorry, Conkler. Um, it shouldn't be forced to that situation, but if so, then uh, Kelio can come out on top. But I'm not particularly fond of going for Skull against it since I can set up a burn emotion, which if it is a Soul Fest, it could be very, very dangerous for me. Uh, but yeah, basically it's here for um, the Bishop, because Bishop with the Sucker Punch can actually hurt my Charizard X a lot. And after, if I'm forced to be hurt by rocks with Charizard X, then Bishop Sucker Punch potentially can take us out, or it's gonna take us out if I'm in regular Charizard first form. But yeah, that's the general idea, so very, very quick review, and I hope to solve this kind of issue I've been having. Right now, I'm trying to save the teams on Showdown so I can actually show you what I'm going for. And like I said previously, due to my success in TBU, the LBA content has been reduced somewhat, but uh, don't worry, we're getting there. So yeah, other than that, no math, GG, have fun, and uh, you guys will see this battle tomorrow. So yeah, already the battle, I'm actually recording this after the battle. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, that was my general idea, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go guns blazing. This is a game where I know that every every team member I have is gonna fall. I just need to have the last man remaining, being a better one, being a four shards X. If I pull that off and get the rapid spin off, I'm going to be golden. He's not gonna be able to win this game. It's very unlikely. Um, but yeah, actually, actually, I should probably say what I think is gonna bring because I thought it was gonna bring Mew, Konk, Raikou, Superior, Gudra. No, sorry, Mega Gyarados, and the last one being a type of fiend fortress and bishop so that was yeah that was the thought i had going in Kafarigus is a must if he needs to preserve those rocks that's about it but yeah that's pretty much my main idea like i said i will try to make these recordings a lot better than they are today they are a bit lazy and i'm sorry for that but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next video until then take care bye